God bless you, beloved, once again for another moment uh, with the counselor. And uh, I always say thank you because the time you spend to watch, not just watching, but I know that it is blessing your life. So God bless you so much. And also God bless you for sharing it and then liking it because it's like the word of God. The more it goes, the more people get healed and people get transformed. I believe that within the next some few minutes, about 10 minutes spent with you is going to be a blessing. This very moment, I want to come again with you from the counselor's desk. The issue about waiting in relationship. It's becoming very difficult for people to understand the essence of waiting when the marriage has not come yet when the life partner has not come yet. Because of that, these days, people decide to do things on their own and later get regretted about it and then come back to God. And some do pray in such a way that they are blaming God. I heard somebody saying that, oh God, if you really love me, when I was making the wrong choice, when I was making the mistake, why didn't you stop me? You see, God has given us our will for us to do whatever that we want to do. But it's only when you call him to come into it. But the reason is that we have really designed a certain plan for our lives, which God has not approved it. So after designing that plans for our lives, it doesn't fall within the Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that I know the plans that I have for you. If God knows the plan that he has for you, every plan comes with duration. Every plan comes with duration. Young lady, it is not every woman, it's not every woman that will marry. Number two, don't compare yourself with anybody because a queer has married, Ia is married, uh, Fia is married. So because of that, uh, Pokia too also need to marry. No, it's never like that. God has a purpose and a reason for each and every one. That is what you need to understand. Your life is yours, but not yours entirely. But God knows why. He gave you through your parents to this world. And then he knows why he, uh, he made you come at a particular time. When you understand the times and season for your life, beloved, the kind of cry and the unnecessary choice that people are making and women becoming so vulnerable and becoming prey to, the, to, to, to this, these days' divorces that is going on, you wouldn't involve yourself in that. There is a reason and a purpose for everything. Beloved, I came to tell you this moment that learn how to wait. Learn how to wait. Because there is blessings in waiting. Because whenever you are waiting, there is a reason and there's a purpose for it. Now, let me give you an example. Somebody like Mary, her life was not utilized any way, not any ordinary way of doing things. God had a purpose for him. Heavens had the negotiations with her life. Because she was possessing something that is so much important to the creation of this world. So that through her, the son will be born. When you look at Elizabeth as well. Elizabeth, when did Elizabeth got pregnant? Beloved. But at the end of the day, there was a purpose at which all those things happened in this world. Now I can give you another example about Ruth. Ruth got married with Opa. But at the end of the day, what happened? Their, their husbands died. Now, Naomi said that you girls should go and look for somebody to get married. Because even at my stage now, if I'm to give birth to another son, uh, it's impossible for you. Yes, upper case uh, Naomi and then left. But here's the situation that Ruth said something that wherever you go, I'll go with you. How do you move with such an old woman? How do you go with such a deprived old woman? A woman that everybody can say that she's a witch because your husband is dead, your two sons are dead. You came to see greener pastures. Nothing is working for you. So what shows I should follow you? If you are using the mind of this world, if you are using a carnal mind, that is what you will say. But if God gives you the grace for you to look beyond what is happening, that is when you'll be able to move in an extraordinary way. Young lady, all that I want to tell you is that don't rush and put yourself into something that you'll regret some time to come. I put something on my uh, status uh, this morning, uh, my WhatsApp status, and I want to uh, show it to you. I want to read it to you. I said that the delayed season, 
the delayed season or God's delayed season is an act of his love. Ask for grace to stay in it. God's delayed season is an act of love. Let me tell you, don't compare yourself with your friends. But ask God, a God, why am I still waiting? Who are you preparing for me? How do you want me to affect this creation of yours? What kind of generation are you bringing through me? Father, show me. The Bible says in, 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 in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Beloved, the Bible says something. The A part is what everybody has been using. But the B part, we normally neglect it. The Bible says it. It says that, come unto me, pray unto me, and I will answer you. The B says that, and I will show you the secret and the hidden things. I will show you the unsearchable things. The things that you need to know about marriage. The things that you need to know about who to marry. The things that you need to know first about yourself. I, the Lord, I am going to show you. So when you pray, you ask God for why certain things are happening, why certain things are going the way it's supposed to go. And when you ask God why, be ready to accept his answer. A lot of people rush into it, and at the end of the day, say that, oh, after all, me kona anye ya, say, after all, and they say, now we're jayi, nipa bibi, awari you going to me kona anye ya. So marriage is becoming try and error these days. Marriage is not a try and error. There's a reason and there's a purpose for everything. I can testify and tell you that I was not, I have nothing to do so far as um, ministry work is concerned and what I'm doing now. But for the past about 13, 14 years now, I've been into this counseling and ministry work. But I can boldly tell you that everything started after I've gotten married. There was a prophecy and it came to pass. Beloved, it is not because of the person that, it, 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 it is not because of the marriage that you have for people to know that you two, you are married. But it, it is when you have the right person and the results, the outcome of your marriage, that will cause people to understand whether you are with the right person or not. Young lady once again. Why am I saying young lady, young lady, young lady? That is where the most problem is. A lot of ladies are saying that, my name is Che, Tam and Asso, and they'll say, me worry, me now for you, never worry, and there. So, because of that, they don't even look into what they are going to put their life into. They don't check it, they don't care. So far as I am married, it's okay for me. So, they think about the wedding for people to know that men so much. That is what is important to them. But after the marriage, what they are going to go through the rest of their lives. Even the vows that happens in front of the puppet, people don't talk about it. Beloved, when God asks you to wait, sometimes, let me tell you, he's giving you the opportunity to make amends. He's giving you the opportunity to make your corrections. Sometimes when God says you should wait, he is allowing you for you to look inside yourself and know your weakness to deal with it. Sometimes when God asks you to wait, he is only preparing you for what he has prepared for you, the greater things that he has prepared for you. But if you are not careful, you tend to think that the way everybody has it, that's the way you also have to get it. What you are going through will never be the same. I end with you by giving you the scriptures from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. The Bible says something here that, yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he has revealed unto us. Beloved, what you are going through, I am here to prophesy to you and to encourage you that what God is about to give to you, you can never compare what you are going through now to it. God has prepared something great for you. God has prepared a good husband for you, a God-fearing one. God is going to give you a marriage that you will be in it and so many years you say that God, thank you for what you've done for me. Don't trivialize the grace of God. Don't trivialize the, the, the opportunity at which God can give you what you deserve. Love God. Love yourself. Prepare yourself. Because the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. In the midst of the women, train yourself to become a wife. So that when the man is looking for, he can find you as a wife. God bless you so much. I will come your way once again. See you. Bye-bye.